What is this? I have a question. Can anyone see what just happened? What did just happen? We went into this dungeon, right? We had a quest. It had to do with going here and I guess destroying whatever they were doing. Now in Diablo 4, what we would have needed to do is go there and then click on it. And then it would slowly fill up a bar of progress until it is deactivated. Not in last epoch, however. You just click on this, it gets destroyed and you move on. Because these people value your time. You missed the prior escort mission? True, yeah, we missed the escort mission, 100%. It is obvious what we play, right? I love this class already. Now, can I not go male version? Do I have to play a woman? Like, nothing against women, okay? But I just like male characters more. Whatever. Cake 77. Hardcore. Solo cell found. Solo found character? I think we go solo account found because if we find cool items that don't belong to us, I don't know how the loot in the game works, we will be able to share that with other accounts or other characters, which we'll probably need because I'm pretty sure I'll die at some point, right? I've never played the game. All right, create. Character! Yay, let's go! <laughs> nice. In the beginning, there was darkness. Why do you skip this? Guys, how can I watch the intro video again? Do I need to make a new character? In the beginning, there was darkness. Only Eterra, myself, and the Void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert. Lagon of the sea. Rye of the endless skies. And Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Terra away. Without her, it's gonna be there the was conflict. Then wars. In the end, it was Rae who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Rae's gaze were the keepers, an order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected. A traveler, willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power? Redemption? Or was this fate? Perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. Okay. Time mm, to leave the so Jelka behind me. W is uh, nothing, Q is flurry, okay, make flurry. What is this? Is this something we can use? Oh, cool. Do we have some sort of dodge? Can I like dodge somewhere? Dodge roll, no? And do I have normal attack or right click? Yeah, I do. Okay, so basically you cannot change the left click. It's always bound to moving, which I, it's, I find, this is something I really like. When you have an ability on your left mouse button, you oftentimes you misclick or you accidentally click on an enemy and then you attack instead of moving. In the end of the follow messenger, you find a letter from the keeper's council. It it is addressed to you. Traveler. Mm -hmm. okay, some person would like to destroy the keepers, and we are part of the keepers. Oh wow! Okay. Gameplay mechanics. Short ball. Can I use that immediately? See. Oh, C is my stuff. Inventory. Base attack rate 1.5. Forging potential and 12 bow damage. Can I use it? Uh huh. I can't use Q, right? LOL, I can use a bow in fury. Uh, but bow is kind of trash. Oops. Bow is kind of trash because this has AoE. LOL, I have a blue item. Lightning resistance vitality. I could just use it. Is there no identifying in this game? There's no identification needed. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. This looks really good. 
if I have to, like, compare this with Path of Exile, this looks better than PoE. It's close, but I, when I see this cave, man, this looks really good. It looks clean. That's what I like. In PoE, you have all of this fog ar all around, right? And makes it difficult to see sometimes. It's a stylistic choice, I know that. They could remove the fog if they want to. But this, I like the cleanness of this. Swapping skills? Wait, you can swap skills in your action bar, left clicking on them, using the flat menu to change the skill you have. Okay. Can I uh, always attack without moving? Is there a way to do that? Move? To melee attack enemies that are out of range. This one is it. <laughs> Oh, this is so much better. Ooh, dodge rating. Okay, where can I see my dodge rating? Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> you can't see it very well, you know. But this is the typical PoE interface, right? Wow, they tell me what it does. Wait. Challenge to receive a glancing blow. Let me do that. Challenge, uh, chance to receive a glancing blow grants a chance only when receiving a glancing blow. When you take a hit, you take 35% less damage from glancing blows. Okay. Man, I'm enjoying this so far. This this character is really strong. Ow. Oh, 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 wait, wait. How do I use a potion? Oh, oh okay, okay. I gotta, gotta level up. Holy! When you arrived, was there a family? I don't know why I'm here, bro. I literally just spawned into the game. Good. Let me watch you fight. Oh, we have a companion now, lol. Cool. Oh, wait. Look at this. We have this... Plus passive system information. Oh god. Now we go. Now we're talking. This is I've heard about this and I've seen this before. You can choose abilities and then make these abilities stronger. And I think I wanna make McFlurry strong because man, this one's really good. Gaining passive note points. Gain passive note points by leveling up. Yep. Completing quests. Mastery classes. Initially, you may only place points in your base class tree. You will have the opportunity to choose a master class during your adventure. Once you choose a master class, you will gain access to the left section of the master mastery so that's probably this one right we probably go play tent so that looks really cool <laughs> dodge rating poison resistance no 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 Do, uh, ask me to confirm hey dude in path of exile they asked you to confirm and i was like okay there's gonna be a confirm button that comes up here <laughs> Shit. You can respect passive points easy in a bit. Okay. Oh, come on. At least we have dodge now, I guess, huh? But I wanted to have dexterity because main stat seems to be the best. <gasps> Ooh, skill system. You can specialize in up to five skills by clicking no by clicking an unlocked specialization slot located above. Specializing in a skill will allow you to gain skill points for that skill by earning experience, which you can use to empower and augment it. Okay, McFlurry. Oh, Flurry has increased attack speed. Flurry is now a challenge. Challenge. Flurry is now a channeled ability that costs five mana per second to maintain. Do not regenerate. You do not regenerate mana while channeling. Damn, this is so cool. We go to damage. Damage. Wait, I can respec here, but I can't respec the skill tree. Oh yeah, right. There's other abilities. What is this? Oh wow. This is shift. And uh, this one throws an acid flask. Explodes. Dealing physical damage on impact. Poisoning enemies. Reducing their armor. Oh wow, okay. It's poisoned. Can I stack? No. <laughs> I'm like this alchemist. This is really cool. Quest completed. Gold and experience. Uh huh. All right. Let's see here. Can I respect now? What is this? Another he wants one? offered protection, more than protection, an alliance. But the truth is, we know little about him. Okay, I've never understood story on the first part. Respecialize my mastery point allocations. Okay. Respect one point. Cost gold? Hey, why? Dexterity and health. Each point of dexterity adds four dodge rating and improves skills that rely on it. Yeah, so that's the best one to take, 100%. So this seems to be the world map. Wow, look how big this is. 
What? They really did a good job, man. Holy. Let's check on this guy. Yeah, yeah. Let's check our damage. We have 10 melee damage. This one's 20 and it only costs 24? Shift, right click to buy. Okay, we buy this. We buy this. Dodge rating. Yeah, sure. Let's get a ring. Wait, I can't use it? Why not? It's a two-handed sword. Two -handed sword, man. He scammed me. Oh, it literally said 200. Oh, God. Um, whatever. I've heard that you can have unlimited stash tabs in this game. Is that right? How is that even possible? I thought you could only have six. Aren't there like some actual physical programming limitations? Sounds like this is where we part ways. You work for Hero? I don't Hero? work for him. I'm his champion. Why? Oh, wow. We triggered him. Champion, what it does means that mean? I've fought hard and climbed my way to the top. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Raye is this. Like, there were four gods or something, four bosses that we have to kill, right? Is Raye one of them, or did I miss something? Rail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, mm -hmm. one of the Keeper's Council. Balthus and I remain, and he's not here. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Guys, she's a keeper. <laughs> You get it? He's a keeper. We can go either to the right or to the left. Let's check the right here. What is this? The fortress gardens. Okay, what is the... Enter the fortress gardens. Now, what is to the right? I like going where the game tells me not to go. Okay, I can't go there because it's conveniently placed people and boxes. Sure, bro. Hmm... Sorry, we are under orders to not let anyone in or out. Ospreys have been sighted in the highlands. Okay. You can now use your portal to return to the last visited town. How do I do that? T. Ah, okay. T is portal. That's nice. It's familiar. Oh, wow. That's a lot of... That's a lot of monsters. Oh, wow. Look at the deeps. Holy. <laughs> Lol. They don't do anything. <laughs> LOL Oh, Quillhog, you guys remember this from Diablo? Literally Quill Rats, yeah So far it's definitely a little bit slower than Path of Exile But it's to be expected Path of Exile Hey, I didn't click on this I wasn't done Wait a minute Whenever you switch the zones, it looks like the game creates an entirely new instance It doesn't reuse anything Oh, I love this. I love this ability. This is so cool, man. <laughs> I killed all of these. Kind of sad that the uh, very beginning that the server issues uh, ruined the launch for many people. It's very sad because the game really plays very well. It's so fun. I'm having a blast so far. I have to say, having left click only be left click and that it's not even a question you can't i'm pretty sure you can't rebind left click you always move with this is so awesome it is ingenious game design and i think every arpg should do it like that because accidentally clicking on an enemy while moving is deadly and it's annoying you stutter step a lot one second guys there's someone standing right next to me one second. Mm -hmm. Wife needs help for a second. If I die here, the game sucks. Be right back real quick. If if I die here, the game is terrible. And it's her fault. A few moments later. The game's awesome. I like the game already. Since I was totally playing blind, I didn't have any idea on how to build my character, but I noticed pretty early on that dexterity is the way to go because it not only gives main stat, aka damage, but it also gives defense in the form of dodge. Additionally, in the beginning I was very confused about the story, and I still am, but as far as I can tell, there is four bosses or four big deities or something, and one of them is called Raya or Rain, and this is this phoenix fire guy that is attacking everyone else the reason why he's doing that is unknown maybe he wants the shards of epoch something like that as my main damaging ability i started using the acid flask because it was really fun to play it reminded me of the poisonous concoction from path of exile which was very fun in there as well and so as i was moving on through the campaign i met this by accident this soldier who 
apparently had a quest for me and then told me to go into an old storage which turned out to be a vital quest in the mission and I didn't think it would be that interesting or vital when I first met him. Wait, this is super easy. Intelligence shard? What is it, this? Augments an item to grant a new property or improve an existing one. This must be crafting, right? What is this? Guys, what just happened? I have a question. Can anyone see what just happened? What did just happen? We went into this dungeon, right? We had a quest. It had to do with going here and, I guess, destroying whatever they were doing. Now, in Diablo 4, what we would have needed to do is go there and then click on it. And then it would slowly fill up a bar of progress until it is deactivated. Not in Last Epoch, however. You just click on this, it gets destroyed and you move on. Because these people value your time. You missed the prior escort mission? True, yeah, we missed the escort mission, 100%. I saw you head to the storage. Are they gone? They're gone. Thank you, never mind that. Rest well. Quest complete. We got a passive point? Oh, wow, we got a passive point from this quest? So if I didn't do this quest, I would have not gotten this passive point? I have to fill out every single map now, which, you know... It's a million times better than killing a hundred monsters in an area than going to a stupid tree and then doing that ten times so that we get to one passive point. You meet a guy along the way, there's a side quest in a ruin, you go into the ruin, you get a fucking point. Right! This is goddamn insane! So yeah, story-wise, we met this keeper lady who wanted us to look for this guy, which turned out to be Deckard Kane, and rescue him because it was in danger. And along the way, I found these scrolls, which you had to click through to get some additional lore, and I'm not the biggest lore person, but I still listen to it. Would have been cool, though, if these scrolls, however, would just autoplay like a Diablo 3. This is one thing that Diablo 3 did very well. You just click on a scroll and you move on with your day you don't stand there and waste a bunch of time wow the portal is instant almost like they learned from path of exile instead of you know having a cast time for your portal you could just instantly teleport back hmm isn't that something? I also briefly touched on the filter system of Last Epoch, which turned out to be very cool because it was actually in-game than as supposed to be in Path of Exile, where you have to do all of it outside of the game. And it looked like it was a very powerful system, but again, I didn't touch on it very much because I wanted to show all the items for now. I guess we do this later then. I don't know enough about it yet. I don't want to hide any white items. Maybe there's a white item that is really good and I hide it and I'm accidentally... At some point, you want to hide the white items though yeah that's the first thing we will do no <laughs> of course what's now ah, okay the plot device he couldn't tell us earlier because he had to get captured by fucking dragon these nuts what happened or oh, plot device happened what else with balthus uh, balthus got carried away by a plot device what what happened? Well, he was about to tell me, but then a dragon these nuts came and put him away, so he couldn't tell that me anymore. That must be Orion. So now but I have no clue what's Balthus. going on. Oreo, okay. He's in danger. We have to save Balthus. Get him and the Epoch back. The last Epoch? Maybe? You'll walk into an entire army of us. Yeah, Stay but safe. I'm the main character. Are you Stay stupid? Alive. Don't you understand? I don't die. Goodness, man, these people. Idiots. While progressing through the next areas, I noticed that these yellow monsters always dropped a yellow item, which for me created a huge incentive to clear the entire map and kill them all. I think this is a very cool feature of the game, and I wish that more games like Path of Exile, maybe Diablo 4, would adopt this, because it gives you this 
loot box hype which is really cool and then it was time for the first boss which in my opinion wasn't very difficult at all like he had some cool abilities and some telegraphed mechanics but if you are a arpg nerd like i am they, he doesn't pose a threat at all you have to remember that i'm playing on solo self found hardcore so i can't die so there are some stakes here at play however it was fairly simple. Now, obviously, this was the first boss, so what do you expect? I'm pretty sure the game gets much more difficult later on. First boss down. Easy! Man, that was easier than I thought it would be. Saving Deckard Kane, yeah, this Holy is Deckard Kane. Let, me, Let just me grab these please. nuts. <laughs> Let me just grab these nuts. <laughs> The shards of the Epoch are safe. <laughs> Explain this, please. The Epoch? Yeah. Oh, it's Atara's most sacred artifact. Mm -hmm. Holding great power. The power to travel through time. So what now? You mentioned shards. Are there multiple Epochs? Just one. Each shard is part of the whole. We keep them separated for protection. I guess you keep them safe, right? <laughs> Let's head back to camp. I must reach Lena at once. All right, let's go. Now, we must protect the Epoch. Find a way so Raya won't get to them. Just kill Raya. Can't we kill Raya? I only have two shards, but that's enough. I'll keep, keep them, them safe. safe. Yeah, he's gonna lose the two shards 100%. Lena, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sorry to Quest you Quest completed, 100 gold. Why, this why not is what's best for us all. Okay. What now? With the epoch's power. I'm finally able Oh wow, what happened? The crumbling ruins. He just left and took me with him. Lol? This is the first interesting thing about the story, man. Cool. Aha. Of course we pick it up now, right? Man, where am I? Ruined area. Wow, this looks good. Ooh. It appears to be one of the shards of the epoch that blah 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 had. But us and the other shard are nowhere in sight. Take the shard of the epoch. What is this place? Ah, so there's time travel. I don't seem to have gone far, but everything looks so different. Is there anyone here? Uh oh. Uh oh. I feel a little unsafe. They look very dangerous. Avoid. Um, they don't take any damage. Oh, wow. Who's this guy? Now, why don't you help me? Roll? Look at him. He's talking. Yes, you. Why are you here? Where is here? Don't play dumb. Only rangers and elders are allowed here. Everyone knows that. What are rangers and elders now, bro? Like, you can explain this shit to me! Are you well in the head? Are you well in the head? Look around you. Dark tar it consumes everything around us. The void. Last refuge is the only place to steer clear of it. Okay, fine. Let's go. We got an ally, guys. I wonder how much damage he does. He's useless. He's completely useless. Just like Diablo 3 characters of course i don't want to read everything man I, I hate reading reading makes head hurt like listen you i'm like reading more than i'm playing the game bro <laughs> did you see that guys there was another lever but in this game you don't have to go through a stupid casting time to activate it you just grab it by the nuts and then you'll smash it to the left oh wow it's really anticlimactic because it stays there it should completely disappear <laughs> I can still see it, man. By the way, what is the difference between online mode and offline mode? Apart from the internet connection. Is your progress being tracked in some sort of leaderboard? No leaderboard for offline. Okay, so there is a leaderboard. Where can I find that? <gasps> I 
Are you f***ing kidding me? So this game made by 90 people as their first game has a leaderboard on release i thought you need five to four four to five seasons for this these guys must be from another planet that just doesn't work like that you can't have leaderboards and more than six dash tabs in one game that's impossible now i know why i like this game so much there are no mana flasks i get it now you have to manage your mana without flasks only a little longer only a little longer holy he's gonna die from poison is he damn can we sell stuff? Oh, who's that? You may find a treasure, my friend. Care to try your luck? Found some good stuff on my way up here. Gamble? Oh, hell yeah. But I, oh my god, look how expensive that is. Hell nah, bruh. You're too expensive. A thousand? Who do you think I am? Stupid? At this point, I wanted to learn more about the game because I was using an ability that was a little bit more advanced, let's say, than a normal melee attack because it had this poison damage over time effect that I wanted to scale. However, the difficult part about this ability is that it doesn't scale with weapon damage. Now, if this doesn't make much sense to you, well... <laughs> Neither did it to me. And calculating damage dealt. Stats like plus five. Melee fire damage are multiplied by the skill's added damage effectiveness. Then added to the base. Damage before starts like 30%. Increased damage and 10% more damage applied. Holy shit. What's going on? What's the void? Thank you. Good question. The void fell upon our world hundreds of years ago. All consuming darkness spread across the surface and drove us into these caves. The last city of humanity. Well, how are you planning to do, Elder deal with Canyon this? is an expert at using the shard. He can weaponize it against the void. So I went into the time to help them out, I guess. What are the shards? They are the shards of the epoch. Broken into three shards long ago. We relied on one of them to sustain this place with yours. We may have hope of surviving this. Take these idols with you. An idol of Logon to guard you against chaos and one of Eterra to guide you home. Okay. Oh, wow. I got idol slots. What is that? Wait a minute. Idols. Aha. This is from ah, Diablo 2. Chance to poison on hit. Wait, I got unlucky. I can only use one. Increased health, cold resistance. I guess we go for the void resistance and the poison. Cool. Awesome. He looks like me. Holy shit, he looks like me. Look. That's me. Holy. I found myself. What are you looking for? Are you looking for Penion? Orbis is already here. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Uh -oh. oh wow you just wait the target dummy sucks it takes a lot of mana yay level 14 oh wow body armor holy shit what is this health minions god damn it my minions panion's students were corrupted they said panion was after the shard where is Elder he panion was here but a moment ago he took the shard i told him to wait but he would not listen. Are you that stupid? I fear the void is manipulating him. Yeah, then why did you let Turning him leave? Turning his courage into arrogance. He's left to face the void alone. What can we do now? You must intercept Elder Panion before the void claims him and seizes the shard. Oh, wow. They do the same thing as Diablo 4, where you can go in three dimensions. And they didn't need 9,000 people to do that. Interesting. I wonder how. They must really be aliens. Oh, wow. Hello, boss. As with this next boss and all the bosses so far, the game has been quite easy. Comparatively to Path of Exile, it was a piece of cake. Path of Exile was way more punishing and is way more punishing, especially early on. The first boss, Mervel, is very difficult to beat. And if you don't have 
experience, you might die on it. However, that's not to say that Last Epoch is bad per se. The baseline difficulty is just a little bit higher and that makes it more accessible, in my opinion, to newer players. And this is a good thing because this is exactly what keeps them away from Path of Exile, hence making it a, in my opinion, much better choice than PoE for beginners and a better game than Diablo 4. Yay! Leather boots of defense. Minion damage? Are you fucking kidding me? How more do I get minion damage? I'm not the minion user. Oh. Wow, this, look at this area. It's like Diablo 4, but in actually a good game. I can't believe this. I thought you needed 9,000 people for this. If you're interested in the build that I've been playing for this, I went over for the Acid Flask and then tried to get all of the poison nodes in it. Traveling to the poison pools because they looked really cool. And actually they were. There we go. Holy sh look at this huge pool of poison. <laughs> okay, how much damage? This ability is useless. This ability is crazy. It poisons them. Holy sh I just tossed this thing. And I'll move on. Okay, guys, it's time. I'm pretty sure we're going to get to the boss now. <laughs> and then we will be Blade Master. Oh my god, is this my space? Oh no. What are you doing? Leave me. Run. I could feel myself changing. Oh god. Of course. Holy s**t. Um, uh, yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. hey. Dude. No. Hey. <laughs> I've seen this in Path of Exile, bro. Ah! Holy shit, I almost died! Oh my god! It does so much damage! Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, oh my god! Uh, what a shame. He, he like oh, literally, man. I think it was like three but ticks and I was done. down to like this much. Holy. The shard you hold resonates in its presence as though drawn to the one before you. Ah, I see. I hold a shard and it's being drawn to the one in front of me. The other shard, the purple shard. I have a blue shard. Aha. Uh -huh. Question mark? <laughs> what is this supposed to be? You seem a little disoriented. First time here, traveler. How, how do I get Blade Master? Shut the fuck up. I want Blade Master. Ah, okay. My true potential is so Blade Master. Where is he? Where is this guy? Wait. Eh? Eh? How do I... Stop laughing. I see you laughing. What the f***? How do I get Stay there? Safe. Huh? This game sucks. It's dog shit. I don't know what to do. You seem a little disoriented. Oh, oh. First time here, traveler. Stay safe. Walk upstairs, literally telling you. Oh, these stairs. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay. You've woken up. That's good. How do I harness their power? How do I, I become have been the here Blade for Master, a long come on. time? By the way, I've already reached the end of this. Kind of sad. What happens after this? Ah, I go into the Blade Master Mastery. Oh, I see. <laughs> I understand now. Aha. <laughs> I get it now. Okay. You're not limited to just Blades Answer passives as well? No way. Wait, I could just use that? No way. I can? This game gets better by the minute. What? <laughs> this is so well designed. This is so cool. Wait, I can only go until here, huh? Aha, okay. I see. I can only go until here because of the chain. The next day. Play online. Hell yeah. Play Tensor. 
Oh my god! I played on the sorry I skipped intro character. I never played hardcore. Oh. I have to do it again, guys. I'm very sorry, but I, I think we know what to I've do never now. Been this far from the God damn it. So yeah, unfortunately, I skipped the intro in the very beginning, created a new character so I could watch the intro cinematic. And then, of course, I kept playing that character, which was on softcore, not on hardcore. Okay, so this is where we continue from the last time, but I have never continued past this point. Let's see. Why a terror? You've done it. What about Panion? The void corrupted him when I, I killed see. him. Even what with can we both do of now? our shards, this city is lost. Our only hope lies in the Temple of Eterra, where the last shard remains. Now I'm assuming I pick up all of the three shards and then I go back to the present. By reforming the Epoch, you will be able to return to your yeah. time and take us with you if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe for more and please tell me in the comments what you think about this type of content whether it even makes sense to make this type of content for arpgs like last epoch and path of exile because for the most part everyone is just interested in guides also if you're interested in the long play the uncut version i have a separate channel for that and so yeah if you're into that check it out until then, I see you all next time. Have a good one. Peace. The cultists had a philosophy. The void transcends reality. And by embracing it, so could they. After all, this world was gone. If they devoted themselves to despair, would it welcome them? A form of hope. Desperate, worthless in the end. Man, this looks really bad. The void consuming everything. I really like these types of settings, you know, video games or movies about this type of stuff. I don't know what it is about it, but.